All right. Hey, everyone. This is Caitlin at NATDA, and today I have Amanda with me, and this is Women in the Trailer Industry. Amanda, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Do you have kiddos? And, you know, um, we'll just go from there. Yeah. Good morning. Well, uh, my name's Amanda Vasulik, and I am here at the NATDA with GeoForce. We do, um, like, GPS and satellite tracking for powered and non-powered equipment, and so um, we are here just to help, um, obviously, keep tabs on all of the moving parts in the um, kind of field assets aspect of the industry. And so um, I am a mama to three little ladies. Um, They're 10, 7, and 5. And so um, they were super excited for um, mom to be going on a a work trip to Nashville. And so I'm excited to. For sure. (laughs) Trying to balance all the things. So it's like um, if people are using their trailers in their field, and they mm-hmm. want to keep track of them. That's yes. kind of what your company does. Yes. Okay, yes. Cool. So we have um, incredibly rugged hardware that attaches and it can be like bolted on. It can have kind of magnetic attachments. And then we have our um, proprietary like software platform that can have multiple different um, applications. And you can see it's beyond just like a dot on a map. Yeah. Um, so that just depending on the needs. And um, so it's, it's wow. pretty amazing. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And that's yeah. very tech, you know? Yes, so, yes. I'm like, don't ask me thing. too many technical questions. I'm For not a sure. developer. <laughs> well, how did you, what position are you in at your company and how did you get there? Yeah. Like, what was your journey there? Yeah. So, um, I have been in like the recruiting and kind of staffing and sales aspect of, um, a variety of different industries, mainly within like oil and gas. Um, and now Geoforce, a lot of our um, clientele are on the oil and gas side, okay. um, like major heavy equipment and different things like that. But we have various different, um, you know, industries as far as construction, aviation, agriculture. Um, and so I've, at Geoforce, I've mainly been working on kind of some of our internal hiring, a little bit of like okay. marketing and sales support. So a little bit of nice. everything. So we're nice. a small company that's in some high growth mode, which is nice. very exciting. Yeah. 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 That is so exciting. Through the pandemic, we experienced that high growth too, yes. and it was exciting. And now things are starting to level out, and so mm-hmm. we're not used to that just leveled growth, yes. you know. <laughs> so we're, we're struggling, yeah. but hey, um, we'll get there and we'll yeah. figure that out. Um, what's it like? Um, is your company man uh, mainly male dominated, and what's it been like um, in in that environment? Yeah. So um, a majority of my career has been within a male dominated space. So even my first job out of college was on the staffing side, but within the oil and gas industry, mm-hmm. and so um, very heavily male dominated. And again, being even in the software space, but within industrial markets, mm-hmm. it is again very male dominated. Um, and so. For For me personally, it's been a journey of a lot of um, continually improving and continually trying to prove myself as a professional and walking in and knowing that I will be able to, um, you know, hang with the big boys and talk the talk and walk the walk. But honestly, it's more just about proving results and showing up and continuing to grind it out and do all of that with, um, you know, still maintaining, you know, kind of the the feminine aspect, not yeah. trying to be too hard, um, yeah. not try to be somebody that I'm not, but yep. continuing to just kind of show up and show out and kind of grind it out and prove yourself. Nice. So. Yeah, those were great words, just being confident and knowing your value when you're getting into the space. You know, yeah. at NATDA, there is a bunch of men here too, mm-hmm. and it's like, um, it's one of my first experiences in the trailer industry when we were just starting out, and it's just great to have those interactions. I mean, yeah. and a lot of men actually aren't discounting you. You just feel have that exactly. fear and have that imposter syndrome. So just being confident and, and just knowing that value that you provide to the table. Absolutely. Um, so for our listeners, out there, what's your best, I guess, word of advice and takeaway action item that they could take home with them? Absolutely. Well, I think for me, because I have three little girls and I'm um, currently doing a lot of it by myself, um, the biggest thing for me in growing professionally has been um, kind of getting creative. Again, like with the pandemic, yeah. we've all had to learn how to shift and um, be a little bit creative in our professional growth and like balancing home and work. Um, and for me, it's been diving into as much education as yeah. possible. So things like podcasts yeah. and, um, you know, TED Talks and different things online that are free access to education and to try to better yourself. And um, I feel like that has been something that's 
continued to um, motivate me and continue to help me um, just round out myself um, professionally. So, yeah. you know, do the work during the day, do all the home stuff at night, get the girls all in bed and then you know, either dive back into books or podcasts, yeah. listen to podcasts while I'm doing laundry. I mean, literally just <laughs> doing whatever we can to, you know, continue to develop ourselves professionally and then show up the next day and do it all over again. Yep. So yeah, That's it's, po it's possible. It's yeah. possible. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I thank you for being here yeah. with me today and I hope you have a great NATDA and your company. Hope Same. it's lucrative for them and Absolutely. just get those connections and, Definitely. and just reach out to everyone and stay connected. So Absolutely. thanks again. This is Amanda again with Geo Force and yeah. I'm Caitlin and we'll see you next time on Women in the Trailer Industry.